The Netherlands is regarded as one of Dart's superpowers, with the nation producing some of the sport's biggest stars over the years. Whilst Michael van Gogh has now been the top name in the sport for around a decade, and the legendary Raymond van Barneveld has had a recent resurgence, the country's players are not as dominant as they used to be, with Danny Nopper and Dirk van Dijvenboda being the only other Dutchman in the top 32. The nation won the World Cup in three of the five years between 2014 and 2018, but haven't prevailed in the five most recent editions, leading many fans to wonder who the next Dutch darting superstar would be to follow MVG and RVB. The current development tour standings are topped by Jean van Veen, a very promising Dutch 21-year-old who has already reached the final on the Pro Tour. Wessel Nyman, Jurjen van der Velde and Bradley Rose are also all in the top 8, but none of these players are as hyped up as the one I'm going to be talking about today was, Justin van der Gaal, the now 23-year-old who has seemingly disappeared from the darting landscape. Justin's story got off to a tragic start, with his father Lucien, who was a darts player, passing away from a heart attack at the age of just 38. Justin was just 6 years old at this time, but quickly began to throw darts in his late dad's practice room. He began to throw well, and his mother introduced him to a dart centre, which turned his attention from football, where he was a decent striker, to focus on darts. He began playing in 2007, and by 2010, he started to win domestic tournaments in both the youth and sometimes adult divisions. He appeared on stage in 2011 at the Dutch Open youth event, where he lost in the final, but managed to hit a 180 at the age of just 10, and was the youngest finalist in the tournament's history. A few years later, he was filmed practicing with Van Gerwen, and he apparently almost managed to beat MVG. He also practiced with Van Barneveld at the age of 13, who said that he was a great talent. After winning several team titles in 2015, including both the WDF World Cup Youth Doubles and overall classes, he managed to win a major trophy at the Winmore World Masters Youth, coming from 2-0 down to beat Joshua Richardson 4-2 in the final. This win got him an invite to the televised Finder Masters Youth Draw, which he also managed to win. 2016 was the year where he really showed his talent as he managed to win a total of 20 titles in just 12 months. He won the youth titles at the Belgium, German and Denmark Opens. He also managed to retain two major titles, the Final Masters and World Masters, where he beat Owen Maiden in the final both times. At the WDF Europe Youth Cup that year, he also managed to win four titles, the maximum amount that he could. He made his PDC World Youth Championship debut in that year after withdrawing from a few events before it due to a shoulder injury which would affect him down the line. He was whitewashed 6-0 in the first round by the number one seed, Dean Reynolds. It was Reynolds that denied Justin his first PDC Development Tour title, having won a deciding leg in the final of only the Dutchman's second PDC event. However, he quickly got the chance to play in another World Championship as in the following month, he entered the 2017 BDO Boys World Championship, where after dropping just one leg in his first four games, he won three straight games and deciders to reach the final, which was televised in the UK and took place on the lakeside stage. He was 16 at the time and faced 14-year-old Nathan Gervin. Justin averaged 88 in the first to three set game, where after dropping the first leg, he didn't lose another one on the way to the title. This title was his fourth youth major in six months. At the start of 2017, he was forced to take three months off from darts due to a shoulder injury, which meant that he didn't throw a dart for almost two months. He was forced to adapt his practice going forward due to this shoulder problem. He played on the development tour regularly in 2017 and finished 14th on the order of merit. It was also during 2017 that he began to play in senior PDC events as he took part in three Euro Tour qualifiers. After failing to make it to both the European Open and German Grand Prix, he managed to qualify for the Dutch Masters where he beat Vincent van der Voort in the decider who at the time was ranked in the top 32 in the PDC. He faced Christian Kist in the first round and after losing the first leg, he managed to win three in a row to go 3-1 up. However, he then only won two of the next six legs 
causing the game to go to a last leg decider where Kist had the throw. Justin had a shot at 107 for the match but was unable to finish it, allowing Kist to take out 60 for the win. Later on in that year, he won the singles, doubles, mixed doubles and overall title at the WDF World Youth Cup in Japan. He then played in the PDC World Youth Championship again, where he lost his first game 6-1 and then beat Roby John Rodriguez in the deciding leg before losing to Josh Payne in the third round. However, he made up for this disappointment by retaining his BDO World Youth title against Killian Heffernan. In the third leg of the final, Justin took out a stunning 170 finish. However, he ended up losing that set. He then won three straight sets to win 3-1 with an average of 93. He won the game with a finish of 1-3-2. Many felt that because Justin hit a 170, he would receive a share of the tournament's highest checkout bonus of £5,000. However, the BDO confirmed that this was only for the men's and women's events, so Daryl Fitton received it all. After public pressure, the BDO did give Justin a bonus of £2,500, whilst Daryl got to keep the full 5k. In the rest of 2018, he played in 8 of the 20 development tour events, where he managed to reach one final, helping him to finish 22nd on the order of merit. In the summer of that year, he managed to cause a big upset, beating Glenn Durrant 2-1 in the final of the Belgian Masters to win his first senior WDF title. Despite winning a title in this division, he was unable to qualify for the Senior World Championship, losing in the final of a qualifier in a sudden death leg. He took part in the PDC World Youth Championship for a third time, where he made it through the group, but lost in the first knockout round. He started off 2019 by attending PDC Q School for the first time in the EU, where he lost in the third round on the first three days. This meant that he needed an event win on the final day to pick up a tour card, but he left the event early due to a stomach flu, which also affected him ahead of the weekend. At the Dutch Open, he reached the pairs final, but then had to withdraw on the following day due to his recurring shoulder injury. This meant that he was forced to take time away from darts again. He undertook an intensive rehabilitation and training program at the KNVB Medical Centre. He did compete in most of the development tour events, but failed to make a final before having a decent run to the last 16 of the PDC World Youth Championship where he was beaten by Martin Schindler. He played in very few tournaments in 2019 compared to other years, but looked to get back to playing in more when he went back to Q School in 2020. He failed to reach the last 32 on three of the four days, but on the second he went on a run to the semi-final where he was beaten by Mike Dedecker. This meant that he finished 23rd on the Order of Merit and missed out on a card. He played in some development and challenge tour events at the start of 2020, but then didn't play in the PDC for ages due to his injury and the COVID-19 pandemic. He was supposed to attend Q School in 2021, but withdrew due to stomach flu again. In 2022, he played in 19 of the development tour events with best result of the semi-final. Across the events, he had an average of 77.8, the 75th highest on the tour. During that year, he signed with the sportsman management company, who also managed top players such as Dimitri Vandenberg. The press release said that his injury had hampered him, but that he was keen to get his form back, which took him to back-to-back -to -back World Youth titles and wanted to win a tour card eventually. He has only played in the first five events of this year so far, of which there have been 20. He has failed to make it past the last 64 once, and only averaged over 80 once. Now 23, little has been seen from Justin over recent months, which is sad to see. Injuries clearly played a role in this young man's downfall, from being the brightest young star, to a player struggling on the development tour. I really hope we see him get to his best one day.